Welcome to the Truthful Universal News Network. Ton. No more mainstream media lies. It's time for the awakening. News worth celebrating on World AIDS Day, December 1st. And surprisingly, it came from a study in monkeys involving an antibody used to treat Crohn's disease. Researchers in Bethesda, Maryland, are steps closer to helping patients keep their HIV in check without the need for heavy medication and a slew of side effects. They are in the early stages of testing a new treatment on humans that would effectively put HIV in sustained remission. The study came out of the lab of Dr. Anthony Fauci, who hailed life-saving advances in HIV treatment. I would think that the advances made in treatment as well as in prevention with pre-exposure prophylaxis are some of the most breathtaking advances in science that have been made in anyone's memory. Clinical trial patient Manny Baez says he didn't think twice about volunteering to help. Um, I had read lots of stories lately promising, you know, a cure, a vaccine for HIV, and I felt the need to do something to help. The medication made by Japanese drug maker Takeda is said to control HIV without the need for ongoing treatment. A second effort combines a therapeutic vaccine from Johnson & Johnson with an immune system booster from Gilead. Advocates are hailing the treatment as a possible functional cure to HIV. The new AIDS vaccine made by Dr. Thomas Hank of the University of Oxford in the United Kingdom was done at the AIDS Research Institute in Barcelona. These ARVs or antitrovials are one of the most common forms of treatment for HIV and AIDS. All patients in the clinical study were on ARVs for an average of 3.2 years and all had been on proper treatment following their HIV infection. After receiving three shots of the new vaccine, all subjects stopped taking their ARVs. Out of 13 subjects, eight of them had a roaring resurgence, while five of them succeeded. There's a 38% success rate, but the five people must go longer without trace of the infection, as some have only gone six weeks without needed treatment, and the highest being only 28 weeks. This is the first out of 50 therapeutic vaccine trials that has boosted the immune system in a meaningful way, claims Cal professor and HIV clinician Stephen Deeks. With a growing family to support, next on the list for Thomas is to buy a permanent home for all of them. Please click the like button, share my video, or subscribe. Thanks.